Okay, sports fans. Uh, what have we got today? Well, we got ourselves a 24 volt pack of headway cells, 16 amp hours, figured in series. And uh, as we can see there, we're getting sort of 26 volts out of them. That is hooked up to our new uh, prototype um, con controller here. And uh, I've got a very simple uh, traction circuit uh, set up just with totally substandard cabling. And we've got it powering our electric motorcycle here. And uh, we've got the PC on it with the RTD software. And uh, I'm just going to put it through its paces here. So the controller is a very uh, simple type of a setup. And uh, we've got our um, RS232 serial port, our uh, low voltage hookups down there, which include the throttle pot. Um, 12 volts and contactor control pins and on the front here we have the copper bars that comprise the high current um, hookups you see we got little stickers on them there um, M, B and B plus M plus and uh, the sound you hear is just the cooling fan which is quite a, quite a big fan it's got a high flow on it and uh, our current heatsink temperature is uh, it's got 12 degrees C at the minute if my um, autofocus decides to work there we go 12 degrees C and 54 Fahrenheit so uh, let's give her some juice uh, let me just say that I've just tried this a couple of times here now and it's kind of scary it's kind of I'm going to need a chain guard kind of scary so here we go screensaver go away screensaver and uh, see our heatsink temperature hasn't changed and sorry for my bad camera activity here and our battery is extremely stiff and this is a characteristic of these cells being that they don't sag a lot and I'll just focus in on the, the uh, voltage here and give her some more juice Spring straight back up uh, when the demand comes off. So, as we can see, we got ourselves a pretty serious uh, controller here. So, what I'm going to try and do now is I've got the twist grip throttle uh, on the bike here. I'm going to see if I can set up the controller. Um, to accept that throttle, and I'll program it through the PC here, and hopefully I'll be able to do a twist script throttle. Stand by for action. Okay, we're back again, and this time we have our twist script throttle hooked in, and. Uh, as it's a standard 5k pot in there, I didn't have to change any of the controller settings to accommodate it. So I'm going to come over this side because if that chain decides to come off, then uh, well, let's just say I'll be uh, in trouble. So 
time for the throttle action without getting killed. Yeah, I got some of that. is a bit sensitive at the minute so that's something I'm gonna have to uh, play with the settings on it probably because there's so much inductance the motor being in series imagine that having a having a, 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 having a say on it yeah I get some of that The scary part about this of course being that that's only 24 volts in a single string. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, better not put that there or it'll get chewed up by the chain on me. So, in any event, uh, this is our controller. It functions. Um, and those headway cells are fantastic. You see they've sprung back up to almost the same voltage as where we started there. If we, if we do a zoom in on our RTD here, which I'll try and do, see that our max battery amps there are about 52 amps. And uh, I think I can slow down the way the controller reacts. Um, KI 160. I'm not 100% sure about the settings on this, so I'll have to, uh, to go back and check on it. But I can change a lot of the settings there to make the. Uh, I can change the current ramp rate fairly easily, I think. Let me just try that quickly here. There we go. CRR. What is our current ramp rate? Da -da -da -da. Blah, blah, blah. 006, so let's try current ramp rate 003. Enter. Current ramp rate 003. Okay, let's see what that does for us in terms of our uh, terms of our throttle response. A little bit easier, I think. Yeah, I can actually got a little bit better control over the motors there now. Oh dear. I think one of my keys is starting to come out, which is not a good sign. Yeah, that key is a bit of a, a blighter. So I'll be uh I gotta do a bit more on these guys. But uh we're still at twelve degrees C there. So I would say my uh, my IGBD drive is pretty happy. Now with that being said, uh that's about it.